Welcome everybody back to another bold cast reaction. I'm Lindsay. I'm Carson. And today we are watching Clonad Another World, Tomio Chapter. <laughs> if I didn't leave the little title of the video up, you would have had no fucking idea I, what I this knew it was a Tomio chapter. You didn't know another world. I know. I, I, I saw it added in there. It was a little bit of spice. Uh, last time we watched the Kyo version of this, and now we're going to watch the Tomio version of this. I have a feeling it's going to work out a little bit better because of... Do you remember that one scene where Tomio was like actually getting involved in Okazaki because he was going to fucking fail out of school? Mm -hmm. And then uh, Tomio was like, all right, I'm coming to your house every day. Yeah. It seems like they would have been a really good good match and like you were saying in the last one um because they both have like family issues mm -hmm. maybe they could find some sort of commiseration or some sort of um common ground and she has a past of not being very good in school and just trying to get better and everything mm -hmm. so i feel like of, of all the girls that he could get with other than nagisa while adult kyo would be my first choice like if nagisa died <laughs> then that would be the thing this one Yep. Let's go. <laughs> I realized that the sentence didn't need to be completed because what I was trying to say had already been said. And, uh... Yep. Let's get into it. Uh, please like the video. Please subscribe. Check out our Patreon. If you're already watching on Patreon, thank you so much. We love all of you guys who have been supporting the show over there. And, uh, yeah. Let's get into it. Look at all that dust. Oh, that's, that's where we're picking up. <laughs> Already off to an incredible start. Oh, it makes me want to cry. I haven't seen this in so long. I'm kind of glad we saved this. <sighs> For those of you who don't know, we've finished all of Clannad After Story and are coming back to this. I wonder how long they're gonna take this. Yeah. You know? これといった<笑> He was, and she she stopped him. Hmm. You can see the little constellation. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Famous delinquent. <laughs> I wonder if she still beats Sunahara up. Probably. Probably even more. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> <laughs> For him too. <laughs> <That's funny. laughs> Our package deal. What's gonna be in his? I mean, it's gonna just be a fucking pile of dog shit. <laughs> <laughs> I 
<laughs> she doesn't even do like <laughs> just uh Tomia <laughs> Since when does the school get involved in shit like that? Did they really do that? Clouds separate. You see that? じゃあ彼女の顔見ないで済む方が嬉しいけど。それより、あの二人連れに声かけてみようぜ。ポニテのことは、絶対聞いてんのかよ。で、俺。私がトマヤと痛いからここに来たんだ。最近 Ice cream looks so good. いよいよ本格的に桜並木を保存する運動に取り掛かる。これまで以上に忙しくなるかもしれない。だから。坂上。です、ガイ。上層階の会長たちに挨拶に来てる。このソフトクリームを食べる間だけ待ってもらえないか
私がいなかったらお前が困るぞ目が毎朝お前を起こす誰が弁当の支度をするんだテストの勉強だってどうするんだそれに大丈夫だお前なしでもはちゃんとやっていけるでもお前がいたら俺はお前に頼りきりになっちまうじゃダメなんだ私はお前が好きなんだ一緒にいたいんだどうよ俺の思いは恋じゃなかったんだよいやオッケーバディ俺は勝手なやつなんだよたくさんの期待に応えろへえよって問いには礼一の応用となるわけだな What is it? What is it? Something about the trees. Mm-hmm. I thought that was going to be the end of the episode. Wow, it is. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> what is he dressing up for? Interview or something? Yeah. Why is he? Did he repeat high school then? This is sad as shit. What I'm learning from this? Oh. Is that it wasn't going to turn out well with anyone but mm -hmm. Kisa? Or with anyone. <laughs> Yeah, we like didn't really see her at all, but she was in that outfit. どうした。待ってたんだ。報告しようと思って。何?ここにある桜は切られない。やっとそれが決まった。そうだ。長かった。譲れない目標だった。夢を叶えたんだな。でもその代わりに失ったものもある。好きな人と一緒にいられるはず
そこへ行くなんでお前はもっといいとこへ行けるんだぞ大学へ行ってたくさん出会いにされてそれに応えてもっとどこがあるんだぞ俺のそばなんかよりずっとなんかだなんて言うな<笑>なんかだなんて言うな私が選んだんだ先生の評価との点数でできた高い場所よりも私にとっては大きな価値があるのだから智也のそばへ行く全力でそこへ行く<笑>どっちが先輩だかな<笑>行くよちょっと遅れたけど俺もお前のところへ That was so good. That was really good. Damn, that was so good. That almost made me cry. That was really nice. Oh, that was, same. That was just oh. as a comparison to the Kyo one. This one was a million times better. This was. I, was, I would have I accepted invested. this as an ending to the show. Like, I know. God damn, that was good. I know. I'm like, maybe. There shouldn't have been Nagi's. <laughs> no, that that's taking it a bit far. But, but like, you know, that was good. That was legitimately fucking good. I could see the story going in that way and being satisfied with it. And like, even what if, I like know. about it is, yeah, the, the their relationship is the plot and the yeah, the drama exactly. between the two of them, not a Other love people. triangle with two sisters that like is not. Like the drama is coming from between them and the fact that they're sisters, and he like weirdly chose the wrong one at first for n literally no reason. Yeah. But this it made sense because, and and how he said at the beginning where it was just like there there wasn't really any like definite moment where it started happening. She was just coming to his house, waking him up, and then like it slowly progressed from there. To the point that they were Naturally. dating and it was very natural yeah and i believe that because th there didn't need to be a crazy big confession or anything with them because it you know it makes sense with the type of people that they are yeah that it just sort of happened this felt so mature mm -hmm. like especially compared even to uh parts of the nagisa route you know like yeah. because I, I think because tomio is more of a a realistic person, whereas yeah. Nagisa is very much like the perfect girlfriend. Like, yeah, you know. and I think also with Nagisa, she's not. I, I, what I like about Tomio is that she's very driven, but willing to make compromises. You know what I mean? You like, know who she's a lot like. Sorry, finish what you're saying. Sorry. I was just gonna say I like that because with Tomia and Nagisa, it was they were just kind of like on their own little track and like making a family and like that was their thing but with this it's a bit more complicated there's real world stuff coming in sooner and but they're both willing to like meet each other halfway essentially mm -hmm. and I, I like that yeah they they compromise well it's 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 it mirrors like the conflict mirrors like the nagisa relationship a lot like that, that's sort of how romances can go. They can go in one of two ways, basically. It's like either, because there has to be conflict. The conflict is um, is usually like either a love triangle. A lot of people don't like that because it seems kind of cheap. Because again, it's not about the actual relationship between the two people. Mm -hmm. But like, because uh, in order for a, a plot to even happen, there has to be a conflict. It can't just be like, start here and here. There has to be some shit in between to make it like a, a something to tell. Mm -hmm. So there has to be some kind of like something is tearing the like they have to make compromises or fight to like get together 
Yeah. And, um, or, you know, like whether that's changing themselves, a lot of like older ro romances that are very like guy focused are more like, um, the guy has to get the girl and like, that's the, the, so she's sort of the reward rather than the relationship being the reward. It's like, mm -hmm. uh, he has to like change himself or better himself in order for, in order to get the girl. But, uh, it's way more fulfilling to have both parties like really want to be together. And it, it makes it more tragic when it doesn't work out yeah. and more satisfying when in the end it does actually work out because it shows that their relationship is stronger than what they they have to sacrifice and it's why nagisa really worked out um and was really satisfying because th despite all of nagisa's conditions despite all the stuff with tomia's dad and mm -hmm. everything all of this the entire world was against them literally and they <laughs> still decided to stay together um and she ended up dying and uh it ended up working out in the end because of some crazy shit but like the story was they sacrificed to be together and yeah. knowing that it was going to be bad in the same way here she probably is sacrificing the uh, the upper echelon like she could be a like national politician possibly if she like does the right things and goes to the right places mm -hmm. but she's choosing to stay in this small town with the person that she loves she's sacrificing a part of herself and he's sacrificing a part of himself to, to be with her you know like it, it, mm -hmm. it's it's this compromise and that's what makes it really satisfying i was going to say she reminds me a lot of tamori from uh charlotte uh, yeah a little bit not just the like the hair and the eyes and everything but like how she seems kind of a lot more mature than like a lot of the other characters yeah you know yeah, I think so. I, I loved that. That was so good. I would watch that if that was its own show. Like, that that Me felt too. so cozy. It, like, it still felt like Clannad, but it felt like such a different ride. It, yeah, it felt I really nostalgic to me. It brought me back to, like, a, uh, like, walking around my hometown in winter and everything. Like, I don't know. Something about that. And I now, that makes sense now that we, I'm glad we watched, we waited to watch this. Me too. I think, I don't think we would have enjoyed it nearly as much if we didn't watch it, if we watched it right after normal mm -hmm. Clannad. This is so great. Um, yeah, I don't know. It's so good. I make, and it makes sense why the after story opening, because we did, yeah. we saw her one time in all, or a couple times. No, one time in after story. Previously, we saw her when Tomia graduated yeah and she was like checking in on nagisa but um mm -hmm. we saw her i think oh no no we didn't no. we actually didn't we she just... didn't come to visit nagisa's place she, she was busy wasn't she no because it was kotomi who couldn't come because she was in kotomi america was there oh oh yeah you're right kotomi was there she came to visit but uh tomio was busy was tomi but tomio would have had to been at oh no because nagisa she didn't come. They talked about her at that party. When no, I meant like the graduation, Nagisa's graduation. Oh, maybe she, she would have been there. Yeah. Yeah, because she but was that still in Didn't that happen in part one? No, that was an after no, story. Right. That was the part one era of after story. Mm -hmm. Anyway, yeah, that was that was a great fucking. Uh, yeah, I don't know. I I, I really like that. That this was, was really, really nice. Really I would have accepted this. Like this could have been its whole own show. Yeah, I would have loved to watch this show. This is fucking awesome. Like, this is great. Mm-hmm. <sighs> yeah, really nice. And it was, like, dramatic without being over-dramatic. Yeah. I found, because I it found... It was so earned. Yeah, it felt... It was, it was very so satisfying earned. to watch. Everything about it, like, the ending that, like, they let gave it enough time to breathe. They even added the visual metaphor of him being trapped behind the train tracks. Yeah. And then, in the moment, it just, whoosh, like, goes mm -hmm. up. And it was super satisfying. That was really nice. Yeah, I like that a, I like that a lot. And they weren't, like, crying their fucking hearts out the entire time. Like, or, like, you know, it wasn't over dramatic. Like, a lot of it was, it felt, it felt very like mature because the they were just, like... earned. And in yeah. the end, when there was that release, it felt like they it had been a build-up to that because it had been months of them, like, doing their own thing and, yeah. like, try, trying to deny what was actually going on. Yeah. Um... So yeah, it was it was very satisfying and really well written. This is like really my favorite well other than everything to do with the latter half of After Story. This is my favorite part of the entire series, I think. I think. So. This is so fucking good. It's it's unbelievable actually. It's like it just and they fits fit it so all well. In with and the, the strong theming with of the everyone else. Kyo, um, yeah. chapter 
It was so incredibly rushed. It felt Everything really abrupt. came out of nowhere. It was smacking you in the face with drama after drama and was just like, what is the point here, guys? Like, it, it was just kind of, and it was very childish and not where I would have liked them to go with that route. Mm -hmm. But this one was like everything that I could have wanted and more. They did it so well. Man, this was good. I'm glad that this is our last. Yeah, nice uplifting yeah. thing, you know? I'm glad we had a couple episodes to watch after all the shit with Nagisa. Because honestly, yeah. that, like, the, the ending was good, but it was very, it felt very abrupt. And, um... I guess with my personal experience, because I was so yeah. unsure about it, it felt a lot more like, uh, it wasn't the unresolved mm -hmm. <laughs> to me. Um, uh, but it's, I, I don't know. I just love that we had these last couple episodes to watch, um, after, and especially this one to leave it off on. It's just, it, well, man, this it is so good. what I think about this episode is it brung the quality and it emotional brung. intelligence of after story to what, everything that was good about Clannad. Yes. So it, so it like brought us back to where we started, but didn't lose the quality uh, that it had had acquired during After Story. Indeed. So yeah, thank you guys for watching. Thank you so much to uh, everyone, especially our patrons who have been here for this entire like at almost half a year long ride of Clannad. Um, thank you to everyone who recommended this and more than half a year, right? I guess I guess it must it's have about been six months. Six months, yeah. Well, thank you guys for sticking with us. And uh, yeah, not sure when we're gonna be doing more key stuff, but we will. Um, but probably not for a little while because we're gonna have some changes to our schedule. Naruto's ending. We're doing some other stuff. So, but we will one day. So. Keep an eye out for that. Hope you enjoyed everything. And uh, yeah, I'm Lindsay. I'm Carson. Bye-bye.